Closing market comments for Tuesday, May the 25th. What a difference a week makes. Corn for the week was down 38 cents on old crop, 27 cents on new. Soybeans down 69 cents on old crop, 53 cents on new. And wheat down 41 cents on both old and new. These grains have just really taken a hit in the last weeks. The funds have been liquidating positions every day. Uh, China was buying early last week and quit buying, so we haven't had any new crop sales announced in, I think, four days. So the market just seems to be under pressure. Weather conditions in the West are ideal. Talking to some of the people over in Illinois, they're telling me they're looking at a, at a beautiful crop that's one of the best they've seen in the Bloomington area. Uh, rainfall's been landing in, in the Dakotas and in Minnesota and Iowa, so where it was dry, they've been getting some rainfall. Some areas aren't, aren't getting enough, but everybody's getting some at this point. So we just seem to have an attitude right now that this market is big as far as the crop. And there's no reason the prices need to stay this high. So we'll have to see whether it continues. Crop progress came out last night. Corn planting was at 90%. That was a little better than expected by some people. 80% a week ago, 87% last year, 80% average. Indiana was at 82%, up 20 Illinois at 90, up 4. Ohio at 76, up 37. Michigan at 88. Iowa at 97. Uh, Nebraska 95. South Dakota at 93. And North Dakota 84. So as you can see, really good progress there. Corn emergence also good. Uh, Indiana at 55. Illinois at 74. Ohio at 38. Michigan 53. Iowa 55. Minnesota 77. Nebraska 62. South Dakota 55 and North Dakota 41. So excellent crop emergence and this heat and wet weather that they're having out, where, out west should continue to make that get better each week. On the soybean side, we had uh, soybean planting uh, nationally at 75%. That's up from 61% a week ago, 63% last year, and 54% average. So again, way ahead of normal on the planting progress on soybeans. Indiana jumped 19% to 69. Ohio jumped 37% to 66. Illinois up 9% to 80. Michigan up 21 at 82. Iowa at 89%. Minnesota 97. Nebraska 85. South Dakota 83. And North Dakota 75. So again, good progress across. Soybean emergence also looks good. Indiana at 41% up 19. Illinois at 60% up 20, Ohio up 16% at 28, Michigan up 28% at 41, Iowa at 53%, Minnesota 49, Nebraska 44, uh, South Dakota 28, North Dakota 19. So again, good progress there. Winter wheat conditions uh, came out and uh, we had winter wheat at 47% uh, good to excellent nationally. That's down 1% and 54% last year, so down 7% uh, from last year. But when you look at it, the two wheats are really split up. Soft red wheat in the eastern corn belt is excellent. Uh, Indiana at 72% up one. Illinois at 84% up one. Ohio up one at 74. Michigan up one at 68. And Wisconsin at 87. Southeast states, uh, Tennessee, 78%, Kentucky, 89%, uh, North Carolina, 54 South Carolina, 38 or 67 North Carolina, 38 uh, Georgia, 61 Alabama, 86 so pretty good. Go out west, and you have a completely different situation on winter wheat. Texas, 25%, Oklahoma, 51 Kansas, 55 Nebraska, 48. South Dakota, 30. Colorado, 44. So you can see the western states are really taking a hit on the crop conditions because of the dry weather out there. So we'll have to see how this goes forward, what the crop conditions do. We continue to see funds be sellers in this market, and we need something that's going to turn it around. And right now, I'm not sure what that is. We need either some export demand or some weather to turn back the other direction. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great week.